the current quick start guide for the Echo SRM225 string trimmer shows to push the primer bulb eight times. It is likely that if these instructions are followed, the engine will be flooded with fuel and it will not start. Signs of a flooded engine are the smell of fuel, fuel coming out of the exhaust or the carburetor. I'll follow the cold start instructions and flood the engine. Move this switch to the start position. Move the switch to the cold start position. That means that the choke is on and air to the carburetor is being restricted. So when the switch is up, there's a little lever here that is closing off air. When you push it down to the run position, you see it flops up and now allows air into the carburetor. Restricted, non-restricted. Press the primer bulb eight times. Push down on the trigger lockout button and squeeze and hold the throttle fully open. It didn't start. Let's try again. I've tried the cold start process five times and I smell an odor of fuel. I've removed the cover and the air filter again and I see fuel. And again, um, with this in the run position, that is opening up and allowing more air into the carburetor. Fuel evaporates really quickly, so we want some air to go through the engine to dry things out. There's more than one way to clear an engine that's flooded with fuel. Feel free to comment and tell your method. Here's how to clear a flooded engine. I'll hold the throttle fully open again. I'll move the lever to the run position. You might try this method to cold start the Echo SRM 225. Start button on. Cold start. Press the fuel bulb four or five times. Hold down the trigger lock and squeeze the throttle so it's fully open. Pull the cord until you hear a sputter. Move the lever to the run position. To restart a warm engine, go to the start position. Keep the throttle trigger in this position. Push the bulb four or five times. Keep the choke in the run position. I hope you found this video helpful. A thumbs up is always appreciated. Click on the channel name Know How Now to find other videos. And thanks for watching.